Hi everyone, we have another video from Neural Control and Coordination. Here see we are going to learn about in this topic what is control and coordination. See here in our body number of organs are there. These organs, all organs, between the organs or the among organs they have a integration. That control and coordination which is involved in the neural system. It only brings the coordination between or the among the organs. It runs their function in a proper way. For that, first we will learn about the coordination. Here see coordination means these different organs they should be work together and they should be complement complement each other. That's known as a coordination. For example, for example, in our body, if you are doing exercise, at that time, oxygen demand is more in muscle. When you are doing exercise or running, at that time, oxygen demand is more in the muscle than the remaining organs. That in that time, how they are complement each other means our circulatory system, which is the heart, and the respiratory system, which are lungs, they should complement to send the more oxygen along with the blood to the muscle because of your more oxygen demand is there. Now here see, you can see between the heart and lungs and muscles have a coordination. In such coordination is very very essential. This coordination is brought by the nervous system. Neural system. This neural system is both internal and external it can coordinate but anyhow this is fast and short lived neural integration is fast and short lived so that's the reason we have to need one more system to control the what you call uh, different organs to bring the coordination for that we have a endocrine system is there. Endocrine system is there. It should be maintained. Endocrine system which regulates the rest of the function along with this neural system. Now we are going to learn about the neural system in human being. Here First, nerve system, it consists of the number of neurons, nothing but nerve fibers, number of nerve fibers make a neuron. See this nerve system, can be classified into two categories, first one is central nerve system. First one central nervous system and second category is the peripheral nervous system. See here central nervous system which is the lies mid axis of our body that comprises the mainly brain and spinal cord brain and spinal cord. These two together to maintain the what you call involve the central nervous system. Right? Along with this peripheral nervous system means this I don't know it lies in the mid axis of our body. The remaining which are the peripheral to the central nervous system this undergoes the peripheral nervous system. In the peripheral nervous system these are classified into two 
वन इज द सोमाटिक नर्व सिस्टम सेकंड वन इज ऑटोनॉमिक नर्व सिस्टम इन दिस यू नो पेरिफेरी टू द सेंट्रल नर्व सिस्टम दिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ द ऑल सेंट्रल न्यूरॉन्स ओके दिस ऑल आर द सेंट्रल नर्व व्हिच आर अरेज फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल नर्व सिस्टम दैट इज नथिंग बट ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड now here somatic nerve system and autonomic nerve system here autonomic nerve system can be divided into two which are the sympathetic nerve system and parasympathetic nerve system sympathetic nerve system and parasympathetic nerve system now here see in the central nervous system brain and spinal cord these are the present in the mid axis of our body what are the nerves coming from the brain and what are the nerves arises from the spinal cord these two together that periphery they are spread all over the body they come the different organs these together undergoes the peripheral nervous system in the peripheral nervous system that nerve fibers are there which are sensory and motor nerves before going to that we have to talk about neuron you know that neuron is a structural and functional unit of nerve system see neuron are the nerve cell which have a property to find or the detect the environment detect environment it means detect and have to receive and integrate okay have to detect detect the particular stimuli and have to response means what have to receive that information and integrate these detection of particular stimuli from the environment or the from the sensory organs and have to receive and send to the central nervous system there they should be integrate the processing takes place here now here these neurons in the peripheral nerve system which are i told you know see here these sensory nerve fibers and motor nerve fibers sensory nerve fibers and motor nerve fibers sensory nerve fibers also called as the efferent nerve fibers here afferent nerve fibers right afferent nerve fibers and efferent nerve fibers in this i am talking about the peripheral nervous system consists of the different uh, two types of nerves which are the afferent nerve fibers second one is the efferent nerve fiber See, this afferent nerve fiber also called as the sensory neuron. Sensory neuron and afferent nerve fiber also called as the motor neuron. Right? Sensory neuron which can receive the stimuli from the sensory organs or the tissue or the organ. it will be send the information from the organs to the cns it means from organ or tissue to the cns in this modern neuron they should be integrate impulse integrate impulse which from cns to organ or the tissue cns to organ or tissue that information will be integrated then that the processing takes place so these are the afferent and efferent neurons which can contribute in the peripheral nerve system peripheral nerve system so here in peripheral nerve system we learn you know that somatic and autonomic nerve system somatic pns 
peripheral nerve system in the classification you already know somatic nerve system and somatic and autonomic nerve system autonomic nerve system also called as visceral visceral nerve system so here somatic nerve system the in the peripheral the peripheral nerve system this is the one part in the peripheral nerve system which between the this integration between the central nerve system to skeletal muscles are the skeletal organs but autonomic nerve system between the cns to visceral organs this is the main difference here somatic nerve system it main that the coordination between the central nerve system to the skeletal organs which are the four limbs and limbs all skeletal muscles spinal muscles autonomic nerve system are the visceral as we call it visceral which can coordinate between the cns to the visceral organs means which are known as the digestive tract and respiratory tract and reproductive tract right this all will be under comes the visceral organs it will be regulated the autonomic nerve system autonomic nerve system so here in the soma already told you know in this uh, autonomic nerve system have two categories which are the sympathetic and parasympathetic here sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve system these are the parts in autonomic nerve system in sympathetic nerve system that these two together antagonistic to each other means opposite one should be accelerate the reaction accelerate the physiological function or it should be should be inhibit example heart beat heart beat will be accelerate are increased by the action of sympathetic nerve system the same thing should be inhibit by the parasympathetic nerve system and moreover the secretion of saliva that should be inhibit by the sympathetic nerve system the same thing will be stimulated by the parasympathetic nerve system this type of opposite nature is called as a antagonistic antagonistic nature one should be each other will be opposite direction so here sympathetic nerve system where the nerve endings are attached to the tissue or connected to the tissue at the particular center neurotransmitters here adrenaline and noradrenaline will be released whereas the parasympathetic nerve system where the nerve endings join to the tissue, synaptic cleft you know that synapse in that area acetyl choline will be released here acetyl choline acetyl choline but here adrenaline and noradrenaline adrenaline and noradrenaline all adrenaline with these two are the adrenaline and noradrenaline and acetyl choline are the neurotransmitters they will be released at the site of contact what is thank you